Hello and welcome. We're here at Rickson's booth at the WTSA and we're joined here by the global CTO, Mr. Eric Akudin. Thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you. Great to be here. Yeah. So first things first, I wanted to ask you about uh, the inroads that Ericsson has made into 5G and what are his plans regarding the 6G rollout in India? Well, that's a lot of things from 5G all the way to 6G, but I think it's great to be back here in IMC. 5G has really made its way into India. Nationwide coverage, some 250,000 base stations, or 450,000 base stations, sorry. And, and, and all of that, of course, is on the back of a very strong 5G technology. Now it's taking the next step to become the workhorse also to connect households or connect homes. So fixed wireless access is really how 5G is coming to use also in India, like you see in US and elsewhere. But uh, I'm really taken aback by the, all the energy that is, is uh, seen here in IMC when it comes to 5G. Then 6G, yes, we will have an upgrade cycle over the coming five, 10 years when we need new spectrum. And uh, that's really when we talk about 6G. But here and now, it's about monetizing the business that 5G brings. So coming back to the artificial intelligence aspect, because it's all the hubble these days, yep. uh, how prepared do you think are Indian major telcos with respect to deploying AI within their networks and consumption? Well, I think that they are well prepared, but this is a journey in terms of upgrading networks to be autonomous networks, leveraging AI in everything from advanced energy consumption, reduction functions in radios, all the way to manage sessions and ultimately creating a better user experience. So AI comes in at multiple layers in the, the networks that the operators are deploying. And uh, I think that's a journey that we have started some time back in the telecom world. Other industries are perhaps following this. And the reason for that is really that 5G as such is a big piece of digital platforms, digital infrastructure of each country. So of course, AI and automation is a critical part. Okay. So we've heard reports about multi-billion dollar contracts that Ericsson has signed with major telcos in our country, particularly Airtel and Vodafone Idea. How do you see that panning out and what are your views on that? Well, I think that networks continuously need to be upgraded and, and that's of course great news for our operator customers. Uh, it's about more coverage, but it's also about higher capacity. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ekudin, for joining us. Thank you for your views.